What comes to your mind when you think about the concept of discipleship? Do you immediately think about Bible study, prayer, mentoring, evangelism? Now, when I read through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I notice that Jesus made disciples relationally. He asked questions, he allowed the disciples to be open and honest, and he spent time having real-life conversations with them. Now, when I translate that to today, I see his model is just as valid as it was in the first century. Now, this means a lot for us, but I want to focus on one key element of relational discipleship for us, and that's vulnerability. Do you feel like you can be open and honest with other people in your life? Do you feel safe to let others see the real you? As disciples, we ultimately want to follow him, we want to be changed by Jesus, and we want to be on mission with him. The whole concept of being changed by Jesus requires me to acknowledge that there are parts of my life that are in need of change. If I pretend that everything's great and I don't make mistakes, then I'm acting as though there's nothing in my life that needs to be changed. This is what John is referring to in 1 John 1.6. He says, if we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. How am I gonna be changed by Jesus if I hide the things that need to be changed? When I confess these things, I open the door for the Holy Spirit to begin working on and transforming those parts of me. And that's why it's important for me as an individual, but what about in community with others? Why do I need to be vulnerable with other people? If a group of people gets together and each person is pretending they don't need to be changed by Jesus, then the group isn't helping one another be his disciples. But when each person comes to the group and acknowledges their need to be changed, confessing these needs, then they can become, they can come alongside one another and they can help each other be transformed. 1 John 1, 7 says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. I remember a time when I confessed to a group of men some things I had done, some, some struggles that I had. And if I'm honest, that was really scary to take that step. But it was a safe place, so I shared my stuff with them. And they saw me, and they heard it, and they accepted me and loved me. We all walked with each other, and we helped each other take steps to be transformed. But if I had never taken that step, I might have missed the opportunity for a change that needed to happen in my life. I want to invite you to be honest with yourself and with others. Don't hide things. When you share your stuff, others will feel safe to share their stuff. We all have it, and it all needs to be changed by Jesus. And we can help each other in that process by first helping each other to be real and vulnerable. It'll be scary, it might be messy, it might hurt, it might even cause others hurt, but it's worth it in the long run because it's all part of our story of transformation. So may God bless your vulnerability.